partnered with um, the National Emergency Number Association, NINA, to also apply for grant dollars through these same types of grant money. And um, our, our state has received legislative approval to go forward with building out a next generation high speed 911 network out to every PSAP, public safety answering point in the state. Usually they're located at the county seat um, in the sheriff's office. The probability in the future that we could get, um, uh, you know, like additional data with the caller, right, that could be distributed out to the fire department, such as a video of the fire that was taken, you know, by the person who called it in, or um, more importantly, maybe medical information that would be stored in sort of a data warehouse that people could opt into. And then getting that from that PSAP out to, for example, the emergency vehicle, and then so they can send it on to the hospital in pre-arrival you know, mode, that kind of thing. Where I'm wondering if we can partner, if we should happen to get our grant dollars, because we have asked to focus on rural Minnesota in actually using some of those futuristic applications and then we'd have to get that, though, back out to the, you know, deeper into the county. For example, the local fire department or the local um, hospital. And that's where we don't have the funding to build out that network beyond the, you know, county seat or the sheriff's office. And if you're working with a particular county to make sure that the county has broadband activity to every community, your city, or or town, um, I could see some synergies there, and I'm wondering if that's something you'd be interested in talking further about. Um, in a word, yes, absolutely. That's very exciting, and I, I think that um, my initial response is that the, um, the most obvious way that that might fit in is if there were, if you're do doing that in a place-based way, in other words, relationships with, with specific counties or municipalities, mm -hmm. Or groups, and if any of those in the communities who've signed on to work with us, that would make that would be a very easy cut at this, and well, especially if the communities themselves had identified this as a priority. We, another lesson that we didn't talk about, but that's really informed all of our work in broadband, is that communities know best about what they need and what they want, mm -hmm. and we really try to. Um, uh, set the table and catalyze their visioning about how they can use and benefit from this technology. And so if we heard, I think we'd be less likely to go to our partners and say, wow, look at this great opportunity, but if they, the communities themselves, were to see this opportunity or be in relationship with you, mm -hmm. that would be a terrific, that would fit very nicely into the intelligent community forum concept and the demonstration communities might be a nice container for that. And I expect that along the way, I mean, especially in the demonstration community rollout, that there will be clearly other partners and players and um, that the communities themselves identify that they want to enhance or bring into their communities as part of that program. So I invite you to contact me in the future. I look forward to hearing more about it.